Hello and welcome to From the Depths, a game that we're gonna try out today. And it's all about lasers, missiles, big explosions, gunships and whatever else cool you can imagine that can shoot, float and, well, pretty much everything in between. So, how did I stumble upon this little gem of a game then? Well, <laughs> I was actually asked by the developer if I had any interest in this game. And as it happens, I have. So, here we are, trying out this game. Now, uh, before uh, we continue, I should put a big disclaimer out here that this game is in pre-alpha status. So, everything you see here right now is subject to change and it is very likely to be totally different in like two or three months. However, uh, even though it's in pre-alpha status, there is already quite a lot of content in the game. Now, what is this game about then, huh? I mean, besides the lasers and explosions... <laughs> well, you, ac you can actually see the game at its finest over here in the background of the menu. But if I were to describe this, I think the best description would be... Uh, something like Minecraft meets Robocraft meets... Well, uh, Rome Total War slash Command and Conquer? <laughs> it's a bit of a hybrid of genres, and there's even some RPG elements slapped on for good measure, so it's a real mix, and even though I usually don't really like games that try to be everything, this game does strike that balance perfectly. So, well then, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, let's get on to it, I see. And uh, let's show the bits that do work. Now, what is currently in the game? Um, I mean, you can see over here, multiplayer and single player. But the multiplayer, I mean, technically it works, <laughs> but it's there for testing purposes. So, yeah, it's not really functional like it should function. I haven't even gotten it to work uh, myself, but the single player, that does work, and there's quite a bit of stuff you can do over here. Now, uh, over here, there you can see that you can either play the campaign, story missions, or you can go into the vehicle designer, which <laughs> they've named creative mode. <laughs> yeah, totally not taken from Minecraft, of course. <laughs> so, now, uh, the thing is, you know, that these are like the missions and um, the real meat of the game, but the vehicle designer is equally as much fun. So, you know what, we'll start with the vehicle designer and, you know, show that off and then we'll, we'll touch the campaign and the story missions. So, there we go, into the vehicle designer and, uh, yeah, let's uh, see what this game is about, huh? Now, I kind of know this because I have played this already for quite a few hours. Not that I'm any good at it, but it's a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, here we are, <laughs> in the vehicle designer, <laughs> on well, a little, I don't know, driftwood life raft, it seems, and uh, this is us. Look, this little robot over here, this is you, the player, and, uh, well, as you can see, you know, <laughs> he has, like, burning feet, which are actually rocket feet. I mean, look at how high we can jump. There. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so, this is us, and, um, well, in the vehicle designer, you guess it, <laughs> you design vehicles. Now, currently we're in, like, a player control mode. Um, that's one way, you know, where you can well, control your vehicles and yourself, you know, the, the robot. But there's also build mode, which, well, we'll open up right now. And as you can see, here is our little build cube thing when well we can place blocks you know <laughs> i mean i think it's pretty obvious where the whole minecraft inspiration thing comes from but well, currently we got the wood block selected but there's a lot of blocks in the game that you can use and well, if we open up in you know, the menu for the build mode you can see over here like right now we're in the tab blocks and these are the materials you can choose from and, well, you might wonder what these colors mean. Well, the green ones all got a sub-menu uh, below them. So if you go to metal blocks, for example, 
hook. See, <laughs> these are all the metal blocks that we can build. So, yeah, there's quite a lot of content in the game, and, well, you know, <laughs> this is just for the material blocks, where you can shape the whole of your crafts and, well, design, you know, build the actual structures of your, well, vehicles, robots, sky planes, or whatever you intend to build. But there's more, because, well, a ship, or an airplane, or a magnificent destroyer isn't just made out of materials, it also needs, well, to be propulsed, and it needs to have weapons, and armor, and, uh, yeah, you know, all the other things necessary for deadly combat. And, well, if we check this list over here, there's several things you can build. You could build ships, even submarines, if you wanted to. Uh, you could also build sky planes, and it isn't just sky planes, you can also uh, get balloon ships, and you can even have space ships. I kid you not, <laughs> this game, in this game you can go into space. <laughs> I've been there, <laughs> you know, uh, got launched accidentally, and you can go as far that you can see the whole planet being just a round thing. Now, there's all kinds of uh, control things, you know, you've got like jet engines and uh, thrusters, and over here you have propellers and rudders and you need all these things to have like a proper functioning boat. I mean, a boat with just a propeller and no rudder won't steer. <laughs> it is actually that deep in terms of gameplay. But, I mean, these are all nice details and essentials. But this game, in, unlike Minecraft, where you just plays blocks and there's a few mechanics and whatnot, this game goes m so much deeper. <laughs> and I, <laughs> that's actually in the name. <laughs> oh, clever me. <laughs> uh, but... The customization in this game is, well, I found it astounding, really, how much there is already for a game that is in pre-alpha. For example, uh, we could place propellers, but they won't work by just slapping them down. You'd need an engine, and guess what? You can design the engine yourself. Look, I mean, you can build crankshafts with uh, cylinders and all that, and it actually matters. It's not like just slap a few down in random measure and that's it. No, you can and have to design an efficient engine to get a high efficiency. So um, it matters, for example, if you build a lot of superchargers and only a few uh, fuel tanks, then you'll have a powerful engine that will run out of fuel very quick. And the other way around, of course. Uh, but that's just the engine, and there's even more um, customization when it comes to weapon systems, which is what well, you know, my main thing that drove me to this game and got me hooked. You can make your very own weapons. You can make your own custom missiles, custom guns and custom lasers even. Uh, for example, well, it's not really, I mean, right from the build menu, it doesn't really show, I can't really show it that well. So, you know what we'll do, because we're in the vehicle designer, we will just spawn in a pre-made vehicle. And, um... Well, uh, I have to you know, kind of well, put a small disclaimer out here that um, the developer was so kind to give me the uh, press pack release. So uh, this list of vehicles over here doesn't come uh, with the game uh, out of the box. You know, he gave this to me. So yeah, when you buy this, you won't have this list. But um, anyway, uh, what we'll do is you, we will spawn this PT boat in here, so I can show you the weapon customization. And of course, everything you see here, you know, um, you can build yourselves now. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I guess we spawned it right on top of us. Uh, yeah, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, so we're off. Um, well, we need to kind of get inside of this boat. There we are. So, let's assume that we've built this boat. And we've put these weapons on top here. Look at this. These are missiles. And um, I'll show you the customization that you can do with these. I mean, look at this. This is a... Oh, it's actually not a missile. It's a propeller. But you could make missiles uh, over here just as easily. But, um, yeah, this is a propeller. Now, each and every one of these parts you can customize the way you want it. Do you want a really fast pro torpedo? Just add more propellers. Do you want it to be ultra long range? Add more fuel tanks. Do you want different warheads or a different 
Well, targeting system, you can do all of it. And the cool thing is, say for example, we want different warheads, huh? So uh, we want frag warheads over here. So we'll change this around and look at the missile uh, right below over here. It's actually changing. And if we, for example, add these one turns over there, you'll see that the missile has changed, which I think is just pretty cool. Uh, so for example, over here we take like a magnet, see, it changes. Now, of course, this has all impact and uh, you can configure quite a few things as well to e add even further customization. Like, for example, on these fragmentation warheads, uh, you can have a defragmentation angle and yeah, there's so much options here, so much customization. And then to keep in mind that this game is just in pre-alpha, there's probably more to come. Uh, when we, when you know, when you talk about well, customization in the weapon department, but this is for missiles. Um, you can also have your own custom guns, of which this one over here is an example. Now, uh, this cannon. Say, for example, we think that it's a tiny bit, um, well, eeny weeny, and we want a much stronger and longer barrel. We can just have that, and I will zoom in a little bit. Right now, we're constructing this very gun, and we can change it to however we want. Do we want a longer barrel? We'll just add some. Do we want it to fire faster? We'll add some uh, reloading uh, mechanisms. Do we want explosive warheads? We can add those, and you can just customize it and set it up the exact way you want. And, well, of course, nothing is more satisfying than firing the gun that you made. So, look, right now we're controlling the gun, which you can as well see in the um, well, the bottom left, you know, on the side, that over here there's weapon groups, so you can even set up different types of weapons to be grouped on a ship. So, for example, right now we're firing our guns only, but if we wanted to fire everything, including the torpedoes, I believe that right now, if I were to fire, look, <laughs> there go the torpedoes. So, yeah, there's a lot of customization possible uh, in this game, and, I mean, let's see if we can shoot that, ooh, you see that? There's, there's also pretty accurate physics, actually, in the game, and, well, no, bullets can bounce, and the design, ooh, look at that, look at that, we actually hit it, and we sank it, pretty much. Now, of course, accuracy does matter, so... And you can see, I mean, different barrels have different accuracy, and uh, there's just so much customization, it's really crazy. Now, um, like I said, there's also lasers, but I haven't played around that much that I can show those off, but... Now, the cool thing is, I mean, you can build all these, you know, and rig your vessel with the most awesome cannons and missiles and be totally awesome. And you can then, well, you know, I mean, when, once you've designed it, then what? Well, you fight enemies and, um... Well, you know, the enemies, they're basically other factions and they have fleets, vehicles, aircrafts of their own, which, well, you know, they're, they're out to well, overtake you and um, you are there to fight them but say for example that you have this boat set up really nice and it's really good at taking out uh, air units what if you then build a boat uh, that's really good against other boats but you can't pilot too right well there's even a thing for that and I think yeah we have it down here you can have your vehicles or your uh, space planes or whatever uh, be controlled by an AI. So the computer controls your vehicles for you to aid you and you can then even command the computer to do things like patrolling and it isn't just uh, controlling the ship or the aircraft or whatever it happens to be, no you can even have it control the weapon systems. It goes that far, really. And, uh, well, you know, once you've got a completely computer-controlled ship doing whatever you want it to do, you can then build another one and control that. And before you know it, you're actually commanding a fleet. And it's all possible in this game. Now, say, for example, we've built this small boat and we want to take out uh, another small boat, huh? 
um, well, we, you can actually test that out in the vehicle designer to see how it does. So why don't we try out this little boat over here and see if it is any good at uh, destroying anything. Now, <laughs> mind you, um, I am a very bad shot in this game, so <laughs> don't expect any magic from me. But let's spawn in a very easy and eeny weeny ship, alright? <laughs> we'll take the Sea Viper, which is like the s weakest ship out there. And right now, we have spawned in a well, an enemy vehicle, and you can see that there's actually an AI uh, on this ship which is already firing at that tiny little boat over there but we're gonna launch our torpedoes as well and wow look look at that oh yeah maybe I should steer <laughs> that might help <laughs> just saying <laughs> uh, let's see how does it do all right I don't think we're doing that great really but yeah, now, as you can see, I'm not really that awesome, but once you're really good at this game, imagine how awesome it must be uh, when you destroy and, well, you know, you aim yourself and you see the, the enemy blow up. That must be totally amazing. Now, you might wonder, like, why we're going to the side, but this game has so many, such advanced uh, physics in there that there's actually recoil which is pushing us out of... Uh, out of our trajectory so it really goes that far which I think is pretty cool um, but yeah as you can see I'm a real poor shot so oh no look we got him we got him yeah nice no <laughs> yeah we're not really I mean this is the top weakest boat out there <laughs> and so far we're not really doing that great oh look at that look at that we killed it right so, but this is the AI firing. I mean, I'm not targeting myself right now, so... Anyway, um, you know what? I mean, this is just a tiny boat. But uh, let's assume that yeah, you have, well, spent lots of time and you have built an awesome vessel. Let's spawn in an awesome vessel and let's see how that does against a much tougher opponent, alright? So, uh, we'll load in another vehicle. And, and this time we'll do something else, just to show you what kind of cool things you can make here. Now, I haven't built any one of these, but um, yeah, this is just to show you. I mean, this is pure awesomeness right here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> we actually spawned in the water. No worries though, we'll slowly resurface, look at that. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what you can build. A freaking massive ultra destroyer ship. And then, if we spawn in a somewhat tougher uh, opponent, for example, the... I don't know, Wanda? I don't even know <laughs> if that is any good. But see, we spawn that in. And, well, there it comes, really. Look at this ship, and this is, of course, AI controlled. I'm not doing anything, but look at this getting absolutely ruined and wrecked by the guns on this ship. Missiles, guns, everything. Pure destruction coming this way. Oh, yeah, look at that. And this is just, you know. This is just a small taste of what this game has in store because currently we're in the vehicle designer and this is just, you know, there for testing purposes. It isn't there to... Wow, <laughs> these missiles are actually really poor. <laughs> Though, I guess the guns are taking it out. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> How's it doing? Yeah, we're, we're taking it out. I mean, surely the thing isn't flying that well, but yeah, the missiles, I guess they're a little bit of a poor shot, so... <laughs> anyway, this is just a small taste, like I was saying, because this is the vehicle designer, and it's not meant for big warfare. You can have it, but it's meant for designing. Now, right now, this is just to test it out, but the missions and the campaign, they're actually there for, you know 
destroying massive fleets and enemy factions. And uh, why don't we take a go and take a look at this? Because here you design your vehicles and you can save them, you know, and then load them in. But the cool thing is that whatever you design over here, you can take with you onto the missions and into the campaign as well. So, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I misclicked. I should have gone to the main menu. Um, so, the, well, you know, the other things are like the story missions and the campaign. Now, the big difference really is, if I were to compare it, these are like single scenarios and this is like the grand campaign. So, yeah, now the story missions, uh, they're single missions and yeah, the pre-alpha status here <laughs> is kind of like what you're seeing here because there isn't a lot out there, but... You know, all in good time, this will be completely filled up to well, kind of give a background and a story to the factions that are in the game. And well, you can see them listed over here. Um, it is right now, um, well, pretty much listed from like easy to deal with to like the end game factions. And they all have their own history, background, personality and character. I mean, one uh, you know, one faction can be sky pirates, the others can be like a modern army, but the others could be like super alien races or uh, well, you know, riders of the beasts from the depths and uh, yeah, well, <laughs> from the depths, huh? it's in the name of the game. <laughs> and uh, some of them are like cyborg attackers and whatnot, so um, they really do differ. And you know what's uh, really cool? The developer, uh, because this game is developed by just one person currently. Um, that is, you know, the gameplay features. I believe he also has an artist working on the artwork, but it's only one dude, uh, you know, actually adding the features. And he's very busy with that. Now, he doesn't really have the time to, well, you know, design and make these awesome aircrafts that we see here in the background, or these massive ships that we were just uh, sitting in. No, he's busy designing uh, the game and the ships you see over here are all from the community. There's these forums of the uh, for this game where you can submit your own vehicle and pretty much every round of uh, patches he will add a bunch uh, that he thinks are really cool. So a lot of the things you see here in the background are actually pretty player created which I think is just amazing and it's not just for the background no the the ships and aircrafts they will you will also encounter those in the campaign and the campaign therefore is well it isn't easy at least at the start it isn't because well you know the players they make awesome ships but you then have to fight these awesome ships which isn't exactly easy but now these are just like I said single missions where you're in a fixed setting and you have to complete an objective and they're fun um, they're just placeholders right now and not really balanced or anything but so we won't really touch this um, the campaign though that is like the real meat of the game along with the vehicle design and I feel now I must make one well you know small note to this that uh, the campaign is currently uh, the thing that he's working on, you know, he's posted it uh, on the forums that uh, the campaign is currently being completely being reworked. So well, I am going to show it off, but <laughs> yeah, it is next patch. It's going to be radically different. So, you know, bear that in mind. Now, let's start the campaign so I can show you what it is. Now, so far, you've seen ships you've seen aircraft balloon craft subs maybe even but this isn't the other thing you can build this is a fortress and it's basically just a hovering base of operations yep and uh, it's really only you only use this in the campaign really and um well, you know, as you could have seen in the vehicle designer on the top right, we had infinite resources, but not right now anymore. No, we have finite resources, and in the campaign, 
uh, you need to gather these resources with such a fortress as this. Now, these fortresses also need a power, and as you can see, this engine, I mean, just listen to it being loud, and it's working crazy hard. So you know what, we'll quickly fix this engine up by adding some carburetors, because I know that that is pretty much what is missing over here. And listen to, uh, you know, the engine purring less hard look. This is much more bearable now, the noise. But, um, yeah, so, we're in the campaign here. You know, you have your fortress, you get the resources. Uh, you can also build your own ships over here. That's no different than the vehicle designer. But if you wanted to, you could also just spawn them in. You know, those, well, awesome ships you made in the designer. As long as you have the resources to, well, sort of pay for them, you can just spawn them in. So it saves you the hassle of building everything twice. Which I think is pretty cool. And, um, well, of course, I mean, this is the campaign. And this is like, well, you know, our starting area. And you might also wonder what this green ring is. It's just an indicator that we're in a resource zone right now. So... But the campaign, of course, isn't just our starting area. It's much bigger. However, this is how it currently looks like. You've got these nine squares, which all represent areas. And if we then go to the map of this area, <laughs> you have another 25 squares, which are all instances of, well, like an area that we have over here. This is like, you know, the starting area. But if we were to move over to this area, for example, we would have to engage it. We would have to select everything that we would want to take and then it has to load in this new area they're all separate instances so to say however in the uh, new redesigned campaign this is going to change and it's all going to be one big seamless map now this is like our our starting zone with these 25 sub zones but if you go one to the right you can see over here that this is the zone you know jan wall that is a uh, territory of the deep water guard and this is their hq where they have the their own base like the one we're standing on currently and you can see that this is a fleet of theirs which is going to capture a new territory zero zero <laughs> well look at where that is <laughs> yeah you got that right that's right Right where we are and this is right from the start so the campaign at least in the early start it can be quite rough but as long as you know what you're doing it isn't like you know completely impossible so and of course there's more factions I mean look see over here have the, the lightning hoods and if you go down here you have the steel striders and over here you have the scarlet dawn which is pretty much like the end game faction with the best ships and the most awesome stuff and all that so now uh, currently um, I mean, you can have multiple ships and you can command fleets here, uh, just like the Deepwater Guard is doing here. They have their own fleet, which is probably like three to five boats or balloon crafts or whatever they compose it of. You can't really see that, but um, you can have your own and you can then just move these fleets around to defend things like resource zones. Because, as you can see over here, there's like this two over here which pretty much uh, indicates the strength of the defenses in this area. Now two isn't really that high. But over here you can see there's a lot more uh, icons here. And this indicates that there's another resource zone like right next door. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And well, you know, come the new campaign it's all gonna be one big map. And the resource zones will be freely... Um, well, accessible to anyone. So you'd have to defend your resource zones with like uh, special fleets and have them patrol the area and all that. Now, and that isn't just it. I mean, that's like, you know, the RTS part of this game. But there's even more because I've had, you know, some email contact with the developer and I asked him a few questions about what he wanted with the game and, you know, well, the history of it. And uh, basically what he wants is to have lots of, uh, well, strategy elements in it, you know, lots of customization options uh, in designing your vehicles but also a whole fleshed out diplomacy system and uh, there is one currently in the game I don't really know if we can see that right now um, I don't know really um, how do I open that up even 
could we could we click on this? No, I know I know there is. Oh yeah, and there we go. Look, see diplomacy info. Now you can already do some crude uh, diplomacy if you wanted to. For example, we could bribe them with resources, but that's pretty much it. And you know, he wanted the developer at least. He wants. You know, when the game is finished, or at least uh, things that he really wanted in here is like, you know, to make alliances, have trade deals, and share military might and whatnot, you know, so when, you know, when the campaign is like more fleshed out and when it's more fully featured, it will have a lot more of, well, a truly epic conquest for world domination, which made me, you know, when when I read what he wanted, it really reminded me of like total war, you know, where you can also pretty much dominate whole, the whole of Europe and, you know, well, put spies in the enemy factions and you know make make war and have trade negotiations and all that. So um, yeah, there's a lot more in store for that. Now. Um, Another thing uh, that, well, you know, is going to be added at some point, and well, I currently can't even show that, but is multiplayer. And uh, the multiplayer, well, currently, like I said, it's technically there, but when this game is well, you know, further developed, it will also have co-op build mode, co-op campaign mode, and uh, you can also play against each other with different game modes, so there's a lot more in store for this game, and it's all currently being worked on. Now, uh, another thing that is uh, being worked on is like the artwork. Pretty much everything you see here is just temporary, you know, till uh, there's time to do it proper, and... Um, well, you know, I think it's just really promising. The developer himself is also really open about, uh, you know, the development. And he's really involving the community in it. It's not just by having the ships that the community uh, designs uh, integrated in the game. But also, if there's, like, certain features or ease of life things or, uh, you know, things that they want... Uh, in like, well, you know, there's like the most voices and uh, votes for having that in. That he actually puts that on top of the list of the or on the to-do list, so to say. So he's really involving the community, which I think is just awesome. And so far, I mean, I have owned the game for like a month or so, and well, you know, it. I think, as far as I could tell, it's being quite regularly patched. So it's definitely actively developed. Which, well, you know, for just a one-man team, I think that's a pretty cool feat. So, yeah. Now, you can get this on the Steam Early Access, and uh, I'll put a link into the description, you know, to, like, the website, forum, Steam page, and all that. So, uh, you can check it out yourself. But I, so far, had lots of fun with this. You know, when I play this game, uh, designing your own awesome-looking ships, you know, making it, and then making it, you know, well steer and fight awesome as well and not just have it look good I mean that's so there's so much satisfaction you can get from that you know when you have a freaking awesome looking sub that is just wreaking havoc on the enemy and is fast and deadly and pretty much undestroyable uncatchable for enemy fire that's just so awesome so yeah I've been enjoying this game I hope you will too and um well, I guess that that's it, you know. We've tried uh, out... Well, actually, I haven't really done anything in the game. Um, <laughs> I've more just showcased it. But that's alright, too, you know. This game, it easily takes up, like, you know, dozens of hours uh, to get, like, the, the real big stuff that's, like, really awesome. I mean, you a small boat is built in, a, you know, an hour, but a big, awesome carrier that we were just... Uh, sitting in, you know, in the vehicle design, that could take days of work, but then when you finally got it, and it's just annihilating everything, oh man, the satisfaction, it is really good. Now, I also, uh, one thing, you know, before, before I end this video, um, <laughs> there are RPG elements in this game, and I totally forgot to show any of it, but luckily, we can do that from the main menu, and look, 
RPG elements. So you can even upgrade the skills of your main character. Now, as you can see, early alpha again. So this is all, you know, to come all in good time. But yeah, see, you can upgrade. You can even buy items like weapons and um, colors and I don't know. There's a whole, you know, th this is all, well, to be designed and to be further fleshed out in the future, which I think is just amazing. It's one of those rare games that strike the right balance of a lot of good aspects of a genre. The only downside to it is that it's just way too addicting. But hey, when has that ever been a downside, right? So, there we are. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I sure know I will. And until next time, when we try out another game.